take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitter for service aboard. We want to listen to what God has for us this morning to strengthen you and help you in your journey to heaven. Many people are not aware of this. And because they are not aware, they perish. For my people perish because of lack of knowledge. <clears throat> because of ignorance. But God wants us to know this. And ye shall know the truth. If the truth can lead you to the right action to be taken. If the truth can cause you to do what you are, to, you are supposed to do, the knowledge of truth definitely will set you free. Let's bow our head for prayer. Father, you are telling us the truth. You want us to make it to heaven. You know that the way to heaven, the road to heaven, the path of heaven is not easy. You call it the narrow way. God, you want to strengthen us on this narrow way so that we can make it to heaven. Oh Lord, may this message be clear. Let your servant hear it and put it to practice. Let your daughter hear it and put it to practice. Let the church of Christ hear this and put it to practice. Let the movement, members of this movement, hear this and put it to practice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm bringing the message to you. Be strong for the battle. Be strong for the battle. Everybody say it. Say it again. Yes. In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, I read verse 13 and verse 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be 
which go in their heart. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. The way to heaven is narrow. Only few make it eventually. Narrow. Not all can go into it. And one of the reasons is what I'm going to talk to you about today. One of the reasons why only few make it is what I am going to talk to you today. And because of that, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 Yes. To verse 20. The Bible says. Finally. My brethren. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins guided about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all sins and for me that our trials may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bond that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Go to this and listen to verse 10. Finally, my brethren, Paul was writing to Christians. He had been speaking with them from chapter 1 about the things about the things of God. He told them many things about righteousness 
about holiness, forgiveness of sins in Christ. Everything has taught them about restitution. He has taught them all. He has taught them about expectation of the coming of the Lord. Prepare for it. Live in readiness for it. All this Paul had taught them. He had taught them on love. Christian unity. Christian togetherness. He had taught them the importance of that and had exhorted them to it. He taught them on doctrines, the teachings of Christ. He taught them about the Christian ministry, how God calls people to ministry and appoints them to ministry. He taught them about the gifts of God, which the Lord has given to us. To profit in it. He taught them everything required to make them strong in Christ. And make them prosper in righteousness. And at the, at the last chapter, he said, Finally. You remember he had taught them also about Christian marriage. Relationship in marriage. Relationship at home. About business life. Relationship between servants and masters. How they should live. How they should, they should honor God among them. He now said, Finally, my brethren, there's something you must know in your Christian life. This is the final thing you should consider. Many don't consider it. With all the knowledge of doctrines, anointing in ministry, they still fail. They still fail. With all the knowledge of the word of God, in fact, he had also talked to them about sanctification, holiness. With all their sanctification and holiness, they still fail. Why? Because there's something they need to face which many are not aware. There's something you need to know which you're not aware. What is that? He said battle. Everybody say battle. Say it again. What makes the way to heaven narrow is the battle too. One of the reasons is the battle that those who are going there are engaged in. And many don't win in this battle. Many don't win in this battle. There is a fight. Many are not even aware battle. He said, for we wrestle. We fight. Are you aware of that? I'm sure you're not aware. You're not aware the things that are set on the road against you. The minds dark on your path against you. You are not aware. And because of this ignorance, my people perish. You are not aware. You are not aware of the poisons arranged against you. The people hired against you, you are not aware. The one that will do you will come in the next three years has been arranged. You are not aware. You are not. That is why you fall. And the way people that follow the way become fewer. Battle. The sicknesses that the devil has arranged for your life, you are not aware. 
to weaken you tomorrow. You are not even aware for the one of the one he has injected already into you that will manifest tomorrow. All against this this Christian life, you are not aware. The forces set against you to weaken your Christian powers. You are not aware. You are not aware. And Paul is said, with all you know, know this too. Otherwise, you will not be able to make it. A man, I told this story before, I heard it from him, said, the devils in their society, in their, in their meeting, are wicked men. Plant over a preacher how to pull him down they said who will do it for us a lady came out I will take that assignment you people give me 27 years are you aware of that give me 27 years I will walk on this preacher. I'm telling you. So, they gave that lady 27 years. On this preacher. You are not aware the person that has taken contract to bring you down. And the number of years is patient about it. If you are cutting a big tree, you are not in haste. You are not in haste. If you are digging through stones, you don't make progress easily. It's little by little. Breathe in. Be aware. This battle is not just against you. It is against the Christian system that you belong. Group two, you are number one, group one. Then the Christian system that you belong to, group two. The Christian church, the Christian denomination that you belong to, battle is set against it. You are not aware. They may not be aware. Group three, the leadership of the system. Strike the shepherd and the sheep shall scatter. Your leader, the person appointed to be your leader, the devil may just go ahead and say, if I handle this man, you will collapse. Because you are working together. Battle has been set over your leader. And the fourth group of people, the, the kingdom of God, the name of the Lord. Satan wants to affect the name of the Lord. To, to disgrace it. Disgrace it. So, you can see the hierarchy of the battle. Let your eyes open. Because if your eyes open, you will fight. Whichever direction Satan is coming, you know the battle is, is facing a system to destroy it. The, the main focus, listen, when you see the devil attacking your leader, the main purpose is you, the sheep under him. The sheep under him. You are branches on, built from these leaders. If they can cut him off, you must fall. Sometimes they cut the branches to get it out of the system. But at that time, aim at the, the main stem. Cut it off. If it is cut off, all branches cut off. They will come and break and dry off. You see, when the battle therefore is set upon your leader, it's for you. It's for you. 
It's not him alone. <laughs> it's not him. It's, it's not him alone. It's you. The whole thing is, they go to the hard one. But if you notice, know wherever the battle is set, you will be there. Sometimes the system, the name of the Lord, the kingdom, oh, is doing it over that at that church. It's against. It's against the whole system. When he has one over there, he's advancing to you to clear it off. When these people, the haram, are attacking a village, you in the next village, you might be thinking, eh, hey, in fact, that village is very stubborn. You let them deal with the village. They may even tell you that we're not coming to you. It is that village. Let them finish. They are fighters. If they finish with that village, you are next. So once you see them there, you know that it's the whole system. It's the whole system. So, what is then the Holy Spirit saying? What is he saying? Finally, for this Christian life to prosper, I have given you all you need for your personal progress. I have given you all you need to make it to heaven. But there's a thing that you need to know and do. Readiness for the battle that will come. Battle from who? The devil. From the devil. If you look at that, it tells us in verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle. Now, how does the wrestling come? The Bible says in verse 11, Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Some of you, it is your it's evil dream. Only you are thinking, hey, there's battle against me because you're dreaming evil dream. The battle is beyond evil dreams. The battle is beyond evil dreams. Oh, maybe you said they are attacking me. The battles are more than just a specific attack from somebody. They are many. Very systematic oppression. Scattered. Here and there. Such that you will not even know. Very systematic arrangement. Why? Satan is subtle. Wise. So, wiles of the devil. How does he do it? Employ somebody. Employ somebody. Now, in America, I think it was in Nigeria that was in America. The machines of America checked on this man and saw that the man had cocaine on him. But they checked everywhere in his life. They couldn't see it. And since they checked everywhere and could not see it, there's no way they follow the machine. There's no way they follow the machine because the man can take them to court. And so, but, ah, this man has confused us. What is this? The security agency now asks among them, who can trace this man? Who can trail this man? Who can track this man for us? For the government. 
a woman came out. The man will not know that there is arranged battle. A woman came out. I will do it. How are you going to do it? Watch me. The woman got close to this man and eventually got his friendship. Eventually went in, into immorality with the man. Oh, I love you. I love you. I, oh, my darling. My darling. Then, the man felt obliged. Marry me now. Marry me now. The man felt obliged to marry her. So, he now, she had come into this man as Delilah into Samson. And was checking on this man. What was the marriage for? Everybody say for cocaine. <laughs> so, she was checking on this man. Until she became pregnant for the first child. She delivered her first child. What a joy. He delivered. I have born you a child. I love you. Her business continued. They continued. Until she delivered her second child. But then there's something the woman noticed. There was a room in that camp, in the man's house that he did not allow anybody to go into it. Even this woman. What is it for? Okay. The woman now decided. Maybe the room is such that if the man goes there, he locks the door, nobody comes there. So the woman now planted camera in the house at unknown to this man. Put camera in every room. In every room. So that when the man comes in, she would be in a corner and be watching everywhere he enters. To check it until she now discovered it. That anytime this man was traveling, she would put cocaine on his teeth. He would go and remove his teeth and fix cocaine there and fix back the teeth. She got it. She went back to the SSS. I've got it. She got it. Then, one day, police arrived in the man's house. When they caught, when she did this, okay, you can come now. And they caught the man right-handed. Please. Ah, darling, what happened? Is you the call Believe for the father of your children? For me? He said the marriage was for it. Then, now I am in trouble. I'm gone. What? How will these children be cared for? She said they are children of American government. So you have no part, no lot in these children. It's part of my profession. The wiles of the devil. By these, many have been removed from the kingdom. Unaware. Unaware. That's what the Bible says. Then, is the battle against you every day? Sometimes it's not every day. Sometimes they rather study your movement, study your activities, study everything to watch the point of weakness, the place of exposure, that moment of carelessness, the strike at that time. Look at it. Verse 13. Verse 18, the Bible says, 
of Ephesians chapter 6. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. It may be just one day. Just one day. I'm robbers. Do they come every day? They are even aware they are coming. But there's a day. So God says, children, you have known me. You have known my word. You have known my ways. Add this to you. Know about the spiritual battle that is said to ensure you don't go to heaven. To ensure you don't make it. It could come by way of a business partner. That business partner has not come so that you should be rich. He has come to frustrate you and make you bitter in life. You live in anger. Heaven finish. Heaven is closed. Where is the man doing me like this? Where has he, see this man has cheated. Myself and this man, we shall face each other. That is where he came. That's where he came. It might come, it might be a child of a relation comes in to assist you in the house. But she came to end, end heaven in your life. Heaven close. It might be you got married to a man, to a woman. Heaven close. The battles are great, my brethren. The battles are great. Battles are great. A particular man, I heard of him in Abuja. His son was in a school in the northern Nigeria. I would have called the name of the state. Okay, it's in Mina. The university. Some boys cornered the son to join secret society in the school. Is it the son joined or so and later repented and said, never, I will never join. I will never join the society. No. And the boy started trailing him. Join or die. Join or die. When it became hot for the child, she ran away from the school. Then, the talk now is apply for admission. Let, her go to, let him go to another, another university. Someone in that who had been a leader in that secret society but came out and is walking said, Listen, there's no school in Nigeria that your son can go into. His name has been sent to all schools in Nigeria. The only thing is to change his name and make him write exam with another name. The battle is strong. I am so happy that you have understood it today. That's why you don't find people going to heaven. Only few. But those who know these things and apply them. Hence, in verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yes. Yes. Put on the whole armor of God. This Christian life that you are doing weekly, I am an old woman. 
if you don't wake up to fight this battle of heaven, you are an old woman, and that your old woman will not reach heaven. You will not be there. Because the devil has planned in temptations, trials, attack, meant against you to frustrate heaven. You see, I'm not prospering. My business is not make, moving forward. It's matter is not business, so it's heaven. They went to that business to frustrate it so that you can also frust be frustrated on going to heaven. Hey, my husband is fighting me. It's heaven, not you. It's heaven, not you. Because the main focus is because you're a child of God and you are linked with God, you are going to where Satan fell from. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. You must not go. He told God that you will not go. He told God that you, that God should not be trusting in what you are doing now because he will stop it. <laughs> That's what Satan has told God. Oh. That God should not be having confidence in what you are doing now. That it will not continue. You will stop it. He will stop it. When God asked Satan, have you considered my servant Job? A righteous and an, up, an, 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 an upright man. The one that hates sin. He loves righteousness. Satan just laughed. Are you talking about Job? Listen, it won't continue. Is it not because you're the one blocking him? Is it that Job has his liberty like this and is serving you? Is you bribing the thing? You have built his around him. You have prospered his life. You have done all this. Who will not serve you under such bribery? Huh? <laughs> God said, are you saying like that, Satan? He says, yes. You force people their will. I want to tell you, God, that if we give people their will, they won't serve you. Okay. I have, I have given job to you to try him to see where his will is. Whether this is righteousness, he is serving me willingly. Or I am the one bribing him with good things. Satan is telling God that all these things you are doing. Listen. <laughs> My wife had a revelation. Satan was pursuing her. Running after her. This revelation, she had it in Germany. Maybe more than two years ago now. Running after her. Maybe September or so, 2014. Running after her. She run, 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 run. And she entered somewhere. And Satan was coming there. There was an unseen glass that blocked him. He hit at the glass. And said, and took a hammer to break the glass by the walk. Satan was crying. My wife asked Satan, why are you pursuing me? That's Sister Linda. Why are you pursuing me? Am I the only one that has revelation? He said, others have it, but they have used their own hand to destroy it. Listen, I wanted to mess you up. It's because God gave you to that man. God gave you to that man. That's why you are even making noise now. <laughs> Tell your husband that even he himself is one, one week old in my hand. Satan does not believe that I will continue. <laughs> I'm telling you my battles of life. Battles of life. Who made all these revelation people to collapse? 
the devil. They were not aware of the battles of life. They were thinking, hey, God has given me a name. Yes, they'll have the world will hear my testimony. They were not aware of the battles of life. They didn't take heed. They never gave themselves to develop strength in the Lord. Satan gave them popularity and money. It was just coming cheap. They are eating. They are eating. Hey, my knee. Hey, this one is coming. Oh, oh, oh. Satan. Because he knows after praise is collapse. After the sing praises, sing praises, sing praises. As they receive the praises, the Lord will remove his hand and they will collapse. The devil knew that. The devil knew that. When they wanted to collapse Nabot, the first thing they did is to go and promote him. Eha sent men to promote Nabot. It was the way of collapse. It was the way of collapse. When the people wanted to use Darius to hurt his kingdom, they first promoted him. In 30 days, they should pray to no other God except Darius. Was Darius a God? Your administration is so nice and so wonderful that nothing but a god is doing this thing please let's although you would say you are not let's give you the honor of the of a god for 30 days it's because they wanted daniel because they wanted daniel so look at this finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Strong within you, strong in his power to fight. Strong inside, strong outside. Strong in protection, strong in battle. Do it all. Don't say I'm a, I'm a small Christian. Don't say I'm an illiterate Christian. Say I'm an old man already. Do this thing I'm saying. Don't say I'm a common woman. Don't say I'm a child. Are you not aware of heaven? You don't want to go there? Don't say I'm too busy. Too busy to the point that you're going to hell. Your eyes are full of sleep. You will come to poverty. Go and do this. Strong in the law. Strong in power to pray. Power to fight. But he said, for we, he said, put on the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the armor of God. The whole of it. Not some part. Full one. That ye may be able to withstand the wiles. The the forces of the devil. Sometimes they only lost and say, hey, witches and wizards want to kill me. That's not where the battle is. Oh. Because the Bible says, fear not them that kill the body and have nothing to do with the soul. Fear him, brother, that will destroy both body and soul in hell. The witch can kill a Christian and he goes to heaven. Was not Jesus killed? Man killed Jesus. Man can kill you. But that is not where the battle is. The battle is your soul. The battle is not your body. It is your soul in hell. If just killing you is what Satan wants, maybe you would have died. 
guy earlier than now is sending you to hell. I think even Satan himself will stop some witches and wizards from walking because he said, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, you send the people to go to, you, you, you are even populating heaven. You are populating heaven. You are populating heaven. So what is the value? I'm losing. The people are not going to hell. It's heaven. They, it becomes Satan sending people to heaven. Stop that. That's not a good strategy. I'm telling you. It's your soul. The battle is on the soul. That's the world. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We therefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand, then you are the one to determine who will win? I'm telling you. You are the one to determine who will win in this battle between you and Satan. By doing or not doing. The, by carrying out or not carrying out the prescription of the Lord. By doing or not doing the counsel of the Lord, the instruction of the Lord, the advice of the Lord, the commandment of the Lord. You are the one to determine. Determination is not God, is not Satan, it is you. God has told you what to do. Are you doing it? God has told you how to win this battle. Are you doing it? Then you will fail if you are not doing it. Then going to heaven is not possible in your life. Because on your own, you have never steered up yourself to stand by this commandment. It's a, mis it's, 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 it's a pity that you will not be in heaven. Because the demons have arranged themselves already. Why? Wow. You are too weak. You confess it and you are not seeking help. You are not asking people to cooperate. You are not taking yourself to where grace abounds. You are not asking a man to support you, a woman to support you. You are not asking the church to pray along with you because you want to stand. People who are sick, they go from hospital to hospital. But you are not going to anywhere. You are not going to anywhere. How will the sickness go? How will the sickness go? That you are not going anywhere. You are not getting up strength. You are not fighting. You are not. You are not. Some of you have retired. I see you were working for the government and it's after 60 years. Your service is over. Or after 70. So you are sitting down now as a retired prayer man. Retired from the strength of the Lord. Satan has not retired. But you retired. You didn't carry it to the end. Is the Bible says, they that continue to the end, the same shall be saved. You never continued. You didn't continue to the end. You retired. You retired. Some of you, is money is still the wealth of the devil. Your eyes went after money. You withdrew from power. You withdrew from the law. From fervency. Oh marriage. Your eyes went after marriage. You withdrew from getting grace. 
getting power to face this battle. Oh, childbearing. Oh, I've not given childbearing to child. You run up and down. You withdrew from this battle. Hey, I'm looking for employment. Good as those things are. Oh, yeah. Good as they are. The greatest thing you must ensure is the safety of your soul. You are the one to determine who will win, Satan or yourself. You are the one to determine who will win, your leader or Satan in your life. God or Satan in your life. The Christian system or Satan in your life, you're the one to determine it. You're the one to determine. God was made to fail by many people, many Christians. Some of them were very serious Christians, but they made God to fail in their lives. Satan took over and boss. It's like the Boko Haram that cut off the head of somebody. As, ooh, 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 ooh. They cut off you. They, you are the one to make, that made God to fail. And they cut you off and are rejoicing right in the presence of God. Because you didn't do his work. You didn't cooperate. You didn't stand up. You didn't put on strength. You didn't fight. You are the one to make your leader fail. You are not under that leader now. Because you made him fail in your life. You were listening to Satan. You gave your heart to Satan. You, are, you believed Satan. Wiles of the devil. You believed Satan. And he got you off. You fell. He fell to your love, but you did it. You are responsible. Because you believed Satan rather than God. You believed a lie rather than the truth. So, it fails. You are the one question bringing a, the, the failures in Christianity. What, what we are seeing now. Because you were not on the side of God. That church is polluted. Who, who polluted is Satan? People that cooperated to, with Satan and are committing morality there. People that are cooperating with Satan and are practicing witchcraft there. People that are cooperating with Satan, stealing the money there. So darkness took over. You are responsible. You are the one causing the church of Christ to decompose. Making Satan to bust. I say, I've silenced this church. I've silenced that church. Individuals that did it. You are the one to determine who will win if you want yourself to win. If you want the leader over your life to win. If you want the church holiness movement in your life over your life to win. If you want the Lord over your life, the God of the church to win. Then you must have the right attitude. You must have the right attitude. One, put on the whole armor of God so that you will be strong. You will be strong inside. Two, stand and face the battle. It is not a simple battle. Don't be casual about it. Don't be casual about it. The Lord has made me to know that these accusations set up, these 
thousands, the devil has raised up as the Boko Haram of holiness movement. Then we should not be playing with it. It's a serious case. Satan has empowered them. Satan has empowered them. And that if we play, we, will, we ourselves will see the rain. We will fetch. Because Satan has empowered them. Rise up. Face them in prayer. Face them in with the right attitude. That's what God, what God has said. You think I am nothing? Eh, who is not a Samson? Your eyes will be gone. Your eyes. You will say I despise. Your eyes will go. With all the strength. With all the anointing. All the power of the Holy Ghost that can move mountains. Your eyes will go. And your life will follow eventually. So stand up. Take this battle well. I speak to you in holiness survivor movement. All this battle the devil has raised up against us. Using individuals. Using systems. And using various things. And has fortified them against us. Rise up and fight them. In the name of the Lord. Fight them not with flesh and blood. Fight the powers that have raised them up. Fight the powers that have raised them up. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. When you invite a man that has trainer as his vehicle to visit you, he will come with trailer. Sir, you carry the whole trailer to my house. For this, he says, yes, that's what I have. If any man challenges us, let's come with the whole armor of God and face the battle. Come with the whole armor. Face it. Let's face it. Let us face any man. Any force, any organization, any church of any name that the devil has raised up to fight the holiness of God. Face it in, face it with the right attitude, with the right means, with the word of God, with prayers. Fast and pray because of one man. We declare whole holiness movement. You are into a fast. Woo! One man has arisen against us. Hey, but it's just one man, no? Huh? AI. As small as 12,000 people. Carry everybody up. <laughs> Carry all armies. Don't listen to those people who say, hey, there are just 12,000 people now. Is there anything there? There's something there because it's the devil. Do you see, the, do you see how many demons are there? The matter is demon. Satan and his cohorts. Therefore, gear up all your strength. Fight this battle. We must fight. I say we must fight. Amen. I say we must fight. Amen. Then we will block those forces of darkness from, from affecting this work the Lord has given to us. to determine by your attitude rise up and get ready do all to because you may apply one meter two meter three it's not working there's still seven meters one two three you have applied it's not working there's still seven aim at carrying the total seven meters make it ten make it ten full ten Face that battle. Having done all to start. If they call for prayers, if they call for this, rise up and come. Because the battle is, for, is against you. They're starting from somewhere. They're starting from somewhere. If any nation faces our country, they may start with our headquarters. But if they win, <laughs> We will just surrender. That's it. That's what he says. 
in verse 14. The scripture is telling us there what we must do. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. 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 Guide yourself with truth. Hold to the truth. It's battle. When they spread lies against the movement, stand on the path of truth. That's battle against falsity. Fight a lie by holding the truth. If you accept lie, you're gone. And if you have joined Satan to fight the truth. If they spread lie against your leader, stand on the side of truth. If you don't know, look for it, search for it, ask for it, and stand there. Don't allow anybody to carelessly move you. You are blown by the wind. Then you have no weight. Stand on the side of truth. You know the truth? Yes. Speak the truth. Don't support any man outside truth. Speak the truth you have known and are convinced of. The truth you have known and are convinced of. Speak it. A particular sister was testifying that all these allegations that rose up against uh, our international director that he is I, I, I have done evil against a particular person. The people, the relations of that person say, let us let's, let's resist in solidarity against him. He said, no. I can't join you. I know the truth about this matter. I stand there. I'm not going to join people just for solidarity. To say, eh, we who are of this tribe, we who are of this place, and eh, we want to show the international director he has done this thing against us. This, this thing she did against this man is against us. Oh, do you know the truth? You want to just follow the wind? You don't know that the battle is against you. God brought you to this man, the international director. Give him grace and wisdom, the work of righteousness to save your soul and take you to heaven. And you, the devil comes to snatch you out. And you say, you are agreed. You are gone. You are gone. What if an Israelite was convinced against Moses, that Moses was a wicked man. He's no, no, he should not follow him. And he withdrew himself. He will remain in Egypt. He will remain in Egypt for his damnation. I'm telling you, that's the plan of the devil. Get you out of the recommended system of God. Recommended leadership of God. Recommended move of God. Then you, are, you perish over there, you alone. For you won't find any other path. For there's only one way. That's the devil. Therefore, stand on the path of truth. Speak the truth. Join the people that are in the truth. Even if they're free. That is how you will save your soul. That is how you will save the system. That is how you will protect the name of the Lord. That is how you will defend God's true servant. Truth. Having your loins got about with truth. Again, having the breastplate of righteousness and your head covered with the helmet of salvation. This talks about make sure you are a Christian. A child of God. 
more than that, have I told you that the main person Satan is aiming at is yourself? The wild wind that is blowing there is a mystery. You are here watching it. You don't know where it is facing you now. It becomes you, you are running, you follow, you are running, you follow. You are. How, did it, how did it come? I didn't know that you were coming to me. That's your carelessness. When you saw the wind blowing in here, why didn't you seek help, seek protection somewhere? When it turned to you now, you became confused. Before anything, you are full of dust. Your righteousness, having all the breastplate of righteousness, every statement you make must be in righteousness. In that circumstance, you check the Bible, look to the Holy Spirit, check the word before you say a thing. Because you don't want your life to be destroyed in this crisis. The crisis have come to destroy souls. And you are one of the potential souls to be destroyed by this crisis. The best way is the way of wisdom. Check righteousness. That every statement, any ma anything you're going to say, any action that you're going to say, any person you're going to support, you must check back the scripture. To ensure your actions are in righteousness, if it is not clear, go for prayer to determine it. Go and check it out with God. If the people were doing this, many would have not lost the narrow way. Many wouldn't have lost the narrow way. Many would have not been off Christianity. You speak in the heart. You talk in the heart. I believe, I believe, I believe, eh, eh, I believe. You are believing what? When you believe a lie, is there gain? There is a loss. The, the matter is well framed. Like the, the children of Gibeon that came to Joshua. I said, we're from a far country. See our dust. I mean, see our feet full of dust. See, this food we took three days ago. When it was hot. When it was hot. But see now, mocos has grown on our food. No investigation. No going to pray. You believe your mind. You enter into a wrong contract. A contract that will affect you tomorrow. Yes. Investigate. For your righteousness. Your soul is too precious to die for somebody else. Your soul is too precious that you die for somebody else. Therefore, be careful. They might even bring you a report that David committed immorality and it is true. You might have that report. Does that report say you should turn away from David? No, ask God. Check the Bible too. Does God forgive a man when he sins and comes on to God to do so? He does. Then who now is telling you to withdraw? Because David has committed immorality. It's not God. God gives chance. He met Peter, he restored Peter despite confession that he didn't know Jesus. I kept him back in leadership. What if you despise Peter from that day? You wouldn't know how he settled with God. You will not know. And the person to perish is you. Who left the cause of Christ and began to trail the bush. Be careful. Check and ensure your actions, your ways are in righteousness. For heaven's sake. For the soul that sinned, it shall die. The soul that 
breaking and hedge, the serpent shall bite him. Leave the path where God has put you and break it. You, the serpent shall bite you. Check your soul. Be careful with it. Let no careless man who cannot keep himself come to affect your life. Don't die for somebody else. Don't die. I mean, when I say don't die, I mean don't go to hell for somebody else. If it were you, God would have given him grace. Giving you grace. God gave him grace. He refused to take the grace. Are you going to die for somebody who refused to take grace from God? God gave him grace to bear it. He said, no, I must fight it. Will you die? For a man that rejects help from God, are you not the one to help him? The man that God has withdrawn from, is the one you want to support? Care for your soul. Yes. It goes on to say, verse 15, and your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You have known the truth. Preach it. It is the gospel. It is the good news the society have not had the truth. The truth of the matter has not been had and as a result, society is in darkness. And Satan makes them to do every wicked thing. To say every wicked thing. To take every evil action to their damnation. Now that you have known it, go and preach it. Go and tell other people. The four lepers discover treasure. They say, it's the day of good tidings. We do not wear if we hold our peace. Go and tell other people. People are perishing for this thing. Now, you have come at the answer. Tell them. Tell them. So you can save others also. You have had the message of life. Spread that message. In CD, in DVD, or whichever form you have found, spread it. In book, spread it. And save others also. Having your feet short, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Do this to deliver people who are in error. To deliver people in error, spread truth. The only thing they have available is error. That's why they are wandering in sin and evil. Go and give them the opposite of error, truth. Then they will be saved. Again, he says, verse 16. Are you there? Let's read verse 16 together. One, two, go. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Listen. Everybody said the wicked. Is Satan the only person that is wicked? Are human beings also wicked? Some human beings are carrying about fiery darts of death. If they throw it at you, you will die. If you don't handle it well. There are things they have in their tongue. If you hear those things and don't take control of yourself, you will die. All your Christian life shall be destroyed. They will carry you off. I'm telling you, he must be wicked. Wicked. Not only Satan, human. Man and woman. You need to quench their darts. Darts are bullets. Darts are bullets. They shoot 
listen to you, you come with fire. Fire. Your heart is burning. Your heart is burning. It's burning you to death. Except you look to God, shield of faith. You look to God over the weight that man has spoken to you. To get it quenched, you would die. Your spiritual life will be over. Except you carry what that woman tells you. Back to God. And plead with him to help you. God, help me. This is what this person has said. I don't know what your word is. But this is what this person has said. This, person, this is what this person has done. This what, except you carry it to God. You're gone. You're gone. Fiery darts. Care for your soul. For when must you die? How precious you are. Your soul is precious. Please, I want you to know it. Lay hand upon yourself. Say, my soul is precious. Say it again. Man, don't destroy my soul. My soul is precious. I will not allow you to destroy my soul. My soul is precious. If you can take backbiters and gossipers that who carry stories of leaders to you, stories of individuals, negative stories of the church, stories of Holiness revival movement. The negative side. If you can tell them that, you keep them away and serve your soul. Your soul is precious. For when must you die? Having escaped all from Sodom, you are going to out the land of safety with the hand of God. God brought you out clearly out of Sodom. You want to go and become a pillar of salt again? Which man wants to deal with, deal with that? Your soul is precious. No. Refuse it. Say no to evil. Say no to backbiting. Say no to gossip. Say no to angry man that is telling you something because he's angry. You don't know his spiritual state. What made him angry? He says he's frustrated. Who is frustrating? Maybe God himself is frustrating him. You want to defend him from God? He's carrying poison to pour on you. <laughs> this man did me like this. Who told you that it is true? Have you checked it? You want to destroy yourself so cheaply? You don't know that the matter is the devil? And that the main thing is your soul. Main thing is your soul. Keep your soul with all diligence. Turn to go fast. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword of the spirit. Guide your salvation and righteousness. Be careful how you think. What you say. What you do. Don't give place to the devil to destroy you and your leader. To destroy the system and the name and works of God in your life. The name and the work of God in your life. Don't do that. Don't. Guided by the word, follow the word of God. Fight the devil by the word of God. Live by the word of God. Check the word. You know, sometimes we wonder, God has taught you all these things. How do you collapse in a, just in a moment? You forgot all the preaching? You forgot all the teaching. You forgot all and collapse at one one dart of the devil. 
If thou faint in the day of adversity, it is because your strength was small. It means all this word, you're not using it. You're empty. That's why Satan got you. When the unclean spirit liveth a man, he walketh through dry places. And finding no shelter, he said, let me go back to the place I was in. And he returns and finds the place garnished, empty and suitable for him. He enters there. Sorry. After your salvation born again, demon of lie left you, demon of envy and backbiting and gossip left you, demon of all these things have gone, you never continued, you never guarded your life, you never read the scriptures again, you never prayed, you never gave yourself to fervent war, and the demon comes back. Don't allow that. Stand to the world. Stand to the world. The world is the salt of the spirit. It will not allow the devil anyway. It will go and deal with him. Speak the truth. Tell what God has said. I also begin to wonder with all the promises God has made for this movement. They have heart. This is my movement. They have heart. Is it that a little thing makes them scatter? No, I won't be there. I'm going away. Okay. You can't cut the world. You can't cut the promises of God back to the devil. The devil, you want to, you want to show that what God has backed up is a lie. You can't do it with me. I believe what God says about this movement. You can't say like that. I am surprised about you. I'm surprised. These people are not looking for heaven. Otherwise, with all the promises, with all the presence of God, with, it's the children of Israel again. All miracles have been done. Water out of the rock. Manna from heaven. The sea dried up. Feed, what? Meat. Quail. Fall upon their camp for them to eat freely. They said they're going back to Egypt. When you were in Egypt, were you, were you treated like that? Have you not seen enough divine presence of God here? Pillar of cloud by day, divine presence. Pillar of fire by night, divine presence. The voice of the Lord from the mountain. The presence of the Lord in the tabernacle. You have not seen all these things? You want to go back to Egypt. What happened with you? Uh, it's Moses. <laughs> Moses. It's Moses. It's Moses. He's not treating us well. He's making himself Lord over us. Dotan and Abiram told us what Moses is doing. Dota, Korah, and Abiram. They told us what Moses is doing. The 250 noble people told us. They, they told us the secret. Did God tell you the secret? That Moses was no more his man? Did God tell you that Moses was no more his man? This is human being. Please, bro, my brother, my sister, please be a step above this man in the flesh. Flesh and blood will never inherit the kingdom of God. Flesh and blood will never. If you don't go beyond this, you can never. If little thing provokes you, if you think foolishly, and if you don't go beyond that, you can never inherit the kingdom. That's what we say. Come to the spirit realm. But the Lord is looking for such to worship him. For God is a spirit. And they that must worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. For the Lord seeketh such to worship him. Again, verse 18 now. 
praying always. All prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching there unto. With all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me. That all trans be given unto me. That I may open my mouth boldly. To make known the mystery of the gospel. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Pray. Always pray. I've told you the Lord said we should rise up to prayer. You as an individual, rise up to prayer. I don't know the, meaning, the type of accident you may come across in holiness movement, which Satan masterminded them so that you should, no, you should find enough reasons to live. I don't know what offenses you might rightly find in Christianity that will make you want to become from Jesus. There are two things. It may even be that one of the pastors want to sleep with you. It may even be that one of the fervent members embezzled your money. It may even be that one of the persons accused you and they believe her accusation. They believe his accusation. But whatever that is, to keep yourself and move forward in this grace you have found, go to prayer. Prayer will make, make your spirit, your soul, bounce back any doubt that is shot at it. It will bounce. Throw a ball to this wall. It will bounce it back. Prayer will do that in your life. Give yourself to prayer. Those things that make you angry will not be able again if your heart is given to prayer. The spiritual energy, you will bounce them back. Your thoughts will be different. The way you think will be different. The appetite of your life will change with prayers. The ambition of your life will break down by prayers. Pray with all prayer. May apply all Christian. May add prayer to it. Add fasting to it. Because fasting is also required. For this kind, go it not out. But by prayer and fasting. All prayers. Battle. Face the devil directly. That's prayer too. Use that. First the devil directly. Handle him there. Handle him there. Handle him. Using the name of Jesus. The word of God. The blood of Jesus. Employing the power of the Holy Spirit. Employing the services of angels. Fight. All prayers. And supplication. Plead for mercy. Oh Lord give me strength. Give me. Deliver my soul. See they have surrounded me. Oh God help. Plead. For yourself. For your leader. For the body. Name of the Lord. Behold the threatening. And grant. That. With all boldness. We may preach your word. And that signs and wonders be done. In the name of your holy child Jesus. That place will shake. And demons will flee. Power will come down and sustain you. Yes. And Paul said, and for me also. What? You're praying for all people. You and your leader, the, the brethren. You have noticed the one that Satan has gotten at and is dragging away. Satan has gotten at him. And is dragging him. Your eyes see. Go and rescue that person. With prayer. Rescue him. Praying for all men. Making intercession for all men. Pray for your leader. That because the whole thing is. He said, I'm praying for me. That all trust may be given to me. Number one. Boldness will be given to me. Why? I can have the utterance and become afraid to make it. Because the powers 
of resistance against me. Amen. Yes, I can have the options, but the people are threatening. Say anything and we will scatter. Say anything and we will report. Say anything now, we will write in the internet. Say anything now, and it might discourage me. Therefore, pray that not just utterance, boldness. Pray for your leader. They, because all these things are meant to weaken them. So they won't speak again. There are people who are not ready to act this word. And they want to stop it so that it should not disturb them. Because the word is a sword. It's called the sword of the spirit. And they will want to prevent the true world. So, they attack the leader through other ways. They attack the preachers through other ways. Pray for the preacher. That they will not frustrate him. That's what Paul says. And for me, that all trans may be given unto me. Yes. Yeah. Utterance be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. There are many things inside this thing that people don't know. It's a mystery. It has to be unraveled. It has to be revealed. And it takes a man with this special calling to do this. It takes a man. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. God has gave, given it to Paul and said, I gave you the gospel. I gave you the wisdom. It's not everybody. If you don't protect this man, Paul, you will lose a lot. It's not everybody. Some people are gifted and called specially. Others do it by trial and error. That all trans should be given unto me. Make it Make it the mystery of the gospel make clear this thing to all of all. Yes. It is this mystery for which I am an ambassador. I am an ambassador. In bond. That daring, I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Listen, the mystery, the ministry is not just speaking but administration. We need boldness to take administrative decision for the advantage of the work. If you're not bold, you can't do it. You will not be able to do what God asks you to do. Maybe you want to bring some changes. You will not be able to carry out the changes if you are not bold. Therefore, in summary, you have known about God, Jesus, forgiveness of sins. You are, sins have been forgiven. You are born again. You have known about holiness, righteousness and holiness. You have known about restitution, about marriage, and you have accepted all this. You have known about the doctrines of righteousness, and you are doing all this about Christian giving, about all, about all of the kingdom. There's one. The rich man was condemned for the one thing. He could not do it. One thing is left. Go and do this. You have the kingdom. He felt spiritual warfare is that one thing you need to develop to make heaven. To fight your way through. Because Satan has told God that all you this thing you are doing is a lie. That you will not make it. That he will frustrate it. And God says, listen, for him to not for him not to frustrate you, put on the whole armor of God. Be strong, 
rise up and fight him standing on your righteousness. Let's rise up on our feet and say, God, I will go and do it. I will go and do it. If you don't, you won't make it. That's the final thing that is left. Tell God, I will fight to preserve myself in Christ. Everybody repeat. I will fight to preserve myself in Christ. I, I will not give myself to weakness. I will not give myself to laziness. I will raise up my prayer life. I will resist anger. I will not join the wrong people. I will, I will seek after God's righteousness. I will not give myself to Satan. Help me God. Open your mouth and pray. We are in the battlefield. It is a personal battle. It is a ministry battle. Battle that concerns your soul. Whether it's at the ministry headquarters, it is aiming at your soul. Whether it is from your family, it is aiming at your soul. Whether it's from your place of work, it's aiming at your soul. Whatever is going on, the reason for the battle is for your soul. For your own soul, for my own soul. That's the reason for the battle. The reason for the battle to create doubt and that for your soul. out and fight it in a minute way, the smallest way that battle want to come rise up for it because the reason for the battle is for your soul it's for your soul we must not give certain chance we must not give people chance. We must we are not be demon chance. We must not do anything to permit Satan to do anything in our lives. We will not permit children, we will not permit husband, wife to create a battle for our soul. If we lose the battle, we lose our souls. But by God, through God, by his grace, we are going to stand. We are going to stand. We are going to fight back. Remember, the way of fighting, good character, good behavior, life, love, kindness, gentleness, not being angry, not being bitter, not, not slandering, not speaking evil against anybody. No. No retaliation in any way. No retaliation in any way. Because that's actually what the battle is for. To make you angry, to make you bitter, to make you to resent somebody. That's the purpose of the battle. And when we fall into that, then the battle is, is ended. So we're going to pray. For God to grant us the right attitude, the right character, the right behavior in the battle. In Jesus' 
name we pray. We want to promise God we're going to stand by his side. We're going to abide by his side. And whatever is going on, Lord, our eyes is upon you. Open your mouth and pray. Promise him, I'm going to stand by you. I'm going to abide by your side. Whatever is coming, I am for you. Help me know your way. I am for you. I don't want to deviate. I don't want to turn back. I don't want to do anything. Lord, I am for you. Lord, I rely on you. Lord, I trust in you. I believe in you. I rest on you. In everything. He will do it for us. The Lord will do it for us. In Jesus' name we pray. The next thing we are telling the Lord now is that God help us to exhibit the right character, the right behavior in the midst of the battle, in the midst of the offensive, in the midst of the blackmailing, that God himself will grant us the right character, the right behavior, the right action. Open your mouth and let us pray. God grant me the right behavior, the right character, the right action, the right attitude, oh my father. Deep, deep attitude that are right and clean, are pure and holy. And are pure and holy. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. You will build good character in us. You will build good behavior in us. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are thankful. You will build our character. You will build our behavior. You will build our innermost being spiritually enough. In Jesus' name we pray. That in whatever situation, our holiness will not be taken away from us. Our righteousness will not be taken away from us. The Lord will help us in whatever way. Nothing will temper with our character. Nothing will temper with us that will make us to unholy or unrighteous may God in his own wisdom and power and grace help us to maintain our holiness at all costs open your mouth and let's pray God help us help me to maintain my holiness to maintain my righteousness to maintain a good to maintain that behavior to maintain that attitude to maintain that action that is a bit holiness that is a bit righteousness that is a bit right living and right behavior In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray now before we go to the next thing. Father, we thank you. We bless your name for you have come to visit us again. That's why you told him to come and see how we do. So that we'll hear this thing that will help us from the beginning of the year to build our lives on the right attitude on the right character and be equipped by the world to face the enemy at the battlefield. Lord, we are victors already. With you, we are victors already. With you, we are victorious already. I'm praying in the name of Jesus, none of us will fall. None of us will fall. In Jesus' name. Father, in any way, these things have had an inroad in our heart, in our life, in our behavior, in our character. And now we have been contaminated. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And by that blood, wipe everything out of our lives in Jesus' name. We want to be free. Free with everybody. Free with whoever. Lord, we just want to serve you. You have told us holiness revival movement is your movement and that you have called your man to be to man it lord we submit we surrender no matter what they say lord i am asking if noah had all the people behind him he wouldn't have only be his family in, in, in the ark it there will be many people but he maintained his stand able to carry his family now we are family we want to be carried along unto the end in jesus name 
we may not remain until 120 years before the Lord come. End of this time, the matter will be ended. We are too close to the matter. Therefore, Father, keep us. Strengthen us. Uphold us in the name of Jesus. Father, any uh, weakness in us, those places of our life that are weak, that are vulnerable, Lord, I pray you will strengthen that areas of our lives in Jesus' name. Weakness in prayer, weakness in Bible reading, weakness in meditation, because we run here and there, I pray by your power. In energize us, enable us, beyond our ability, enable us to do what we ought to do at all times in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, this your children will, will receive strength to serve you, will receive power to serve you, will receive grace to forego everything that will contaminate them in Jesus' name. I am praying, Lord, this your children. We are, wait, we are waiting for you. Our eyes are upon you. Remember, you are coming for us. You are not coming for an empty wall, for a seeming wall. There will be some righteous people there, some holy people there. People qualify. I want to be among them. Father, preserve us until that day in the name of Jesus. I'm praying, O oh Lord, God of heaven, this you are telling us we're in this world, we need some material thing. We see some property here and there, a place to lie down, a bed to lie on it, something to move to move us around to do one thing or the other, move something to move us around to go to, to preach the gospel and do things that for the kingdom. Father, I'm praying you are the great supplier. You are the great supplier. May every one of us, oh Lord, that is here, whatever need in his life, whatever need in their life, provide it according to riches in your glory in Jesus' name. I'm praying that, Father, you will supply abundantly. You will supply according to your power. You will supply at the need of everyone here. In Jesus' name, you will supply money. You will supply property. You will supply land. You will supply cars. You will supply all that we need for the work and for ourselves. Supply them 100% in Jesus' name. I pray that your children will be joyful. Your children will be happy serving you. Even though there will they be something here and there, but Lord, they will have the joy of the Lord in their hearts. That joy you have given them, you have given them, nobody will take it away. No Satan will take it away. No man or woman will take it away in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray we will not succumb to any pressure. We will not succumb to anything that the devil is doing against us. We will face forward. We will face you with all our heart. Face you with all our mind. And we will not turn back in the name of Jesus. Those here, they have committed sin because of one thing or other. They have been, they are falling away and now they are saying, God, I want to come back. Lord, restore them now in Jesus' name. Save them from their sins in Jesus' name. Those anger have filled their heart and everything they do, they do in anger. Father, I pray, Destroy the power of that anger in the name of Jesus. And set everyone free in Jesus' name. We are praying that your hand will be upon every one of us. Your hand will sustain us. Your hand will build us up. Father, we thank you so much. And for your servant, we pray, your hand will be upon him. Already your hand is upon him. Control to lay his hand upon him. In every situation, you lift him up. When Elijah wanted to, to go to Jezreel, there was no means, but yet he was able to run faster than a chariot. When he needed a chariot, grant him that chariot. When he needed an aeroplane, grant him that aeroplane. When he needed any angelic means, grant him that angelic means. Whatever he needed, all oh Lord bestowed abundantly for him in Jesus' name. We thank you for our sister in Sierra Leone doing something there. May you equip her there. May testimonies come from there. Preserve her over there. Yet there will be temptation at there. Temptation from the men of God there. Temptation from here and there. Shield her by your power. Shield her by your glory. Shield her because of your name. Oh Lord God of heaven, everything will work according to your perfect will in Jesus' name. I am praying revival, holy revival movement. It will not be terminated halfway. Lord, nobody will even stop it halfway. 
you will not be able to go slowly because of some reason. Nothing of such will happen in Jesus' name. The time you have given unto us, the period you have given unto us to perfect everything, we are ready. Lord, we are ready. In the name of Jesus, we are ready. That time will come and we will fulfill that time in Jesus' name. We are grateful to you. We are thankful to you. Lord, receive glory. Lord, receive honor. Lord, receive exaltation because you are worthy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3900. Or zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address Holiness Revival Movement at Gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my I believe in you, you are the living Savior, I believe in you, you are my Lord and Savior.
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe, I believe. 